Hey guys, it's Tim Bacconi, aka Troublesome from FPV Mafia. It's Corey Braden, Porkins, FPV Mafia. <laughs> we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the new uh, frames we're doing. Uh, we have a four inch prop and a five inch prop version. It's called the X Murder from FPV Mafia. It's a frame we did ourselves. Uh, five mil carbon fiber, um, GoPro session ready, built into the frame. And uh, it's just an amazing, amazing frame to fly. So just want to go over some of the features of the frames. Um, and Corey can chime in if I forget anything. Um, so basically, uh, the hardest part of designing this frame was to get the motor to motor uh, measurement as tight as possible. Um, if you can get that really tight, you get better handling, the, the quad's more agile. So if you're flying a five inch quad, if it's 190 millimeters, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna feel more like a four inch quad than a five. Um, with the way that we did the session mount, it's built into the frame. So you don't need to have any other mounts or anything like that. You put the session in, straps right in. Once the session's actually strapped in, uh, especially on the five inch version, uh, the, the balance of the quad is almost perfect with the prop plane, perfectly centered with the prop plane. Uh, so essentially what that means is when you're, when you're doing acro and you're doing stall, tri stall tricks and things like that, uh, this thing will sit upside down for days and it'll be perfectly balanced in the air when you're upside down. So it's, it just feels really natural when you're, when you're doing any stalled momentum tricks that you're doing. Uh, and, and as a racer with the session on, you get, when you go hard into corners, you get the battery kind of pulling you to a stop. So as far as racing goes in hard corners, you also get the benefit of having the battery bottom mounted for snapping in and out of corners. Um, you can you can really see that in Tim's style of flying, how fast you can come out of a corner, um, and yeah. So w with the battery on and the session on top, you can see that the center of gravity is pretty much perfect as you're in forward play. And even without, you don't have to have the session on to to have the quad, quad feeling right. It feels naturally balanced without the session on. But when it's on, usually when you have a regular quad, you put a, a, a HD camera on top. It's going to feel, you're going to feel the camera. And on these frames, you don't feel the camera in a negative way. You feel a little bit extra weight, but it almost helps you with momentum driven tricks and things like that. Uh, another thing I want to go over with the four inch quad is that it's so tight. I got to have to emphasize how much trouble we went through to get these motor to motor measurements as tight as possible. That was the hardest part of designing this frame. This is our third generation of this frame. And we had to come up with a really creative way to get these motors as close together as possible and still fit the props in and have clearance. So we've done a top pod that will, you can actually unmount from the frame by four screws on the bottom of the frame and the whole pod comes off um, and that will have your camera and your VTX up top. And then if you need to access your, your uh, flight board, it's fully accessible as well. Yeah. Um, the, the four inch version, I believe is around 160 millimeters which is quite small for a, for a four inch quad. And it, with the five mil carbon, that makes it almost indestructible because there's no leverage there to torque on it with that small of a and, frame. And just the position of everything, when you do crash, everything's so tight that it really doesn't take a lot of damage. Like th these things hold up really well. Corey and I fly in parkades, underground parkades, concrete pillars, and we've had some nasty wipeouts. And usually like, you know, if anything, you might lose the camera, which you lose in any quad you're flying. If you, uh, you know, if you take a really hard impact, but it's not due to the frame, the frame itself takes no damage at all. And uh, we have a Kydex uh, camera cover. Now I'm racing today, so it's a little beat up, but this essentially protects your camera. You can use a full size HS 1177 on this frame. Um, and to get a frame this small and use regular size gear is quite rare. Like, I mean, most frames, you can't do that. You either have a sacrifice one for the other, right? Yeah, so you see a lot of frames with this small of an arm to arm design and they end up mounting the camera pod on the same uh, bolt pattern as their flight boards. And what that ends up doing is it, it weakens the flight board and it also makes a lot of flight boards these days. You need to do what's called soft mounting them 
to uh, keep those very sensitive gyros uh, under control. And when you end up with your camera pod on top, you can't soft mount your, your flight board because it's part of the same stack. So that's another thing that was you know, integral to this design is that we, we were able to get it down to the, the same compactness that, uh, that, a pod, that the, you know, those type of pods have uh, without actually mounting it off the flight board. So, so you're able to run full size gear on these squads exactly. where normally if you get a frame this small, you're gonna have to use a micro Pico camera you know, yeah. and, and special equipment just to run in a frame this size. We're running everything full size, regular FX, VTX, once again, full size uh, 1177 camera and regular flight board. And the arms are 14 millimeters wide, so just enough room for most uh, modern ESCs. And uh, the frame's just amazing. I've flown a million frames and, and these frames handle like nothing I've ever flown. So um, definitely hit us up, FPB Mafia. Check out the website. Um, we'll be selling these. We're also doing a, a, a a service where you can have the frame hydro dip we have some really slick hydro dip frames and you can customize the quad to your exact preference and that's really cool too it's not too many people are doing that yeah and and the quality of the hydro dipping is top notch we have a guy who's a, a 30 year automotive painter doing it he specializes in it two coats a clear coat and it feels like glass when you have the frame absolutely you know, it's, gorgeous it's beautiful <laughs> we're manufacturing these here in canada uh in vancouver british columbia and in victoria we have two facilities we work out of um forgot to mention that we do have a foam pad on the bottom here as well for your battery so it just helps it uh, stick to the frame just once you get it locked in just grabs it yeah grabs it nice and tight and uh, the holes on the frame are all countersunk so it's just completely flat flush with your battery and uh, it's also a very lightweight frame we didn't really go over that but the frame is actually very lightweight for what it is for a five mil frame um just the design of it is you know it's really good so and we're also doing something really neat that I want to show you since we're, since we're talking about this stuff. FBU Mafia, we've also designed a pod for your, your Fat Shark goggles. So you can run any uh, LiPo battery. You don't have to worry about the, the Fat Shark batteries, finicky, you know, always breaking on you at the wrong time. You can basically run this little unit here, clips onto your goggle band, and run uh, any, 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 any battery. The, the beauty of this is that I can run any pack off of it. I send it down through my shirt plug it in and stick it in my jeans pocket boom it's that way it's not snagging on anything it's yeah. nice and tucked away so this is the this prototype is the but it looks identical we just have the the ones that we'll be selling branded they'll have a nice little sticker on it with uh with our logo yeah and um it really does take a lot of weight off your goggles like i've been using this for quite a while now about six months and if i try to run a battery now it feels really awkward on my goggles you don't realize how much weight that battery is actually putting on your head and then going to this and trying to go back to a battery is just, it's a no-go. Yeah. So definitely check this out, FPV Mafia, uh, Fact Shark, uh, battery adapter, I guess you'd call it, <laughs> or power cable. Yeah. We don't have a specific name for we'll it. It powers your fucking it. goggles, and that's the main thing, <laughs> all right? So and that's what you need on race day. I don't know if you have a plastic block or anything. Yeah, I just make sure. See, you guys run your own I only, I only